More of you, TV viewers are cutting your ties with the cable companies, opting to stream your favorite shows through other services in the hopes of saving some money. But are you actually saving dollars by cutting the cord? The iTeam's Derek Rose is putting it to the Verify test tonight. For the answer to this common question, we went to our Verify expert, Paul Verna, a principal analyst for eMarketer, a national market research company in New York. Now, according to his numbers, this year, 63 million people in the U.S. don't have cable, and that number is expected to jump to 81 million in three years, rising faster than experts predicted. There are many reasons. One is cost. The cost of a lot of these bundles is less. We're tracking this latest system. So how much money are we talking? For you in your full storm team forecast. We went to our in-house cord cutter, the First Alert Storm Team's Caitlin Fish. I quit using cable when I lived in New York City probably about a year and a half ago. She's glad to put the days of the big bills behind her. It was really expensive. Uh, we were paying around $250 for cable and internet every month, and we had so many channels we didn't use. We thought, why are we paying for all of this? We don't use it. So Caitlin looked into streaming services Ooh. and other options that were more cost effective and watch what she wanted when she wanted. And the one thing we found that really worked for us was Sling TV, which is where you can stream just a limited number of TV channels on, let's say, a Roku player. And so that worked a lot better for us. In addition to Sling, add in her internet and a couple of other streaming options, Caitlin still gets the show she wants, but for only 80 bucks a month saving more than 60% of what she used to spend. You know you can spend that money on other things or you can put it towards savings. So when you are saving a good chunk of change, you know, over $100 every month, it makes a lot of sense. The savings are there for most people, but don't expect an apples to apples replacement of your cable box. Cut the cord and you may be cutting at least a few channels you cannot replace online. I think, frankly, a lot of people make this decision not so much based on the dollars, but based on what they want to watch. So back to the question, does cutting the cord save you money? We verify, yes, it does. Just don't expect to get all of your content in one place. Hey, uh, Caitlin's saving all that money. Jared, she's buying dinner tonight. There you go.